This is Melanie Ecke, and you're watching richgirlnetwork.tv. Today we are in West Hollywood celebrating Valentine's Day like only Lifetime TV can do. This is the anti-heroes, anti-Valentine's Day bash, celebrating the premieres of both Mary Kills People and Unreal. And Chris, you play the character of Annie. I do. And you're coming off of a very successful first season. So tell us a little bit about where the storyline is headed second season, what you can share. Right. Um, so you guys haven't seen anything yet. So we sort of get we sort of get a lot more tangled up. We kind of step it up. We step it up and we get ourselves in a lot more trouble. I think it's like we it's sort of like we won the lottery, we kind of got away with things and we won the lottery and now we're trying to bank that money into something more, into the ideas that we and the dreams that we've had. And it really doesn't always go well. It's so funny that you say you get yourself into more trouble because um, season one had a lot of trouble. Trouble, <laughs> yeah, kind of nonstop trouble. I was saying that it's sort of like the the three of them in this death um, triangle. They sort of are united by this like common fervent belief about what should happen and how how we should have the right to die and how we should have the right to be able to say when our lives end and the way that they end. And not many people feel this in the world, so they're they're united and they found this like soulmate in death basically and once we found them we know how rare it is and we just don't want to let go even though we keep getting i mean des is des is in jail you know like how bad does it have to get and we're gonna lose i mean you know you work a long time to be a doctor and a nurse to throw that all away and these two both are you know mary and annie both feel so passionately about their jobs and feel it so so desperately the people that they deal with to throw it all away is a really is a big thing. So they really mean it, and so we really stepped it up this year and are kind of chasing those like death dreams and we're going to see what's going to happen. <laughs> right. And just lastly, really quickly, you mentioned how they put everything on the line, you know, for this cause that they feel so connected to. Do you feel as though in society in general, the show has helped to bring awareness to the whole concept of assisted suicide? I, I hope so. You know, there was a time when we thought, who's going to pick this up internationally? Who's going to be brave enough to be able to say, you know, we've got a show where we're talking about this and it's front and center and we're with these, we're with these families. We're like a little bug on the wall when people are going through the darkest times. And the thing is, is that this is so true to life. I've spent a lot of time in hospitals with people who are beloved to me and it is full of those really dark questions and in those times you also need to laugh so I love that like Mary balances that you know like I just love the opening the opening shot the first time you see Mary kills people as a title they're like trying to get away from a botched death like holding their shoes it's just it's a it's a gong show so I feel like that's the the process that we've gone through and like I, I'm really proud to be able to say that we're behind this show that's really dealing with it important issues and I'm really proud of all of you I think that you've captured that dynamic very beautifully congratulations and good luck with everything thanks so much thank you